dum de dum Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister? Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah! I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history! No, there's no fuse! So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything! You just push it! The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now! Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! We. She's handling kind of funny. You got it, just hang on there. She's too heavy! I can't control her! Hang on, Ben! Hang on! She's breaking up! She's breaking up! <laughs> Run for your life! Now that was interesting! Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results! Wish me luck! I never got your name! It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Well, I'm all ready to go, but I guess I'll have to wait for Bernard and Laverne. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I've got to get power to my chronogen. 
Maybe I could try to find some batteries. I'm concerned about the human show. Where am I going to find a human to enter? Most of the humans are probably entered already. Do you think it's strange me talking to a mummy? It's not so different from talking to specimens at med school. Except that you're a little older. My, those are nice clothes you're wearing. My grandmother has a couch covered in that material. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? <laughs> I almost killed myself on a pair of those ones. Great Scott! You're purple! Uh, um... Yes? Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. Are you the same Purple Tentacle who knew Dr. Fred? Up on your ancient history, are you? Yes, I remember that insignificant insect. Just exactly how well did you know Dr. Fred? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? Me? No way! Good, you had me worried. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. If you'll excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Do you mind? You're disrupting my concentration. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. That's my boy. Well, that's the spirit. 
Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Doctor! What is it? Is someone sick? We can't have sick humans in the show. Well... Uh... <laughs> I examined them all myself. They're all perfectly healthy looking to me. Except for the dead one. Now leave me alone. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. As usual, no one competes with Harold. Agreed. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. Yow, that Harold sure knows how to bear them beauties. I could see my reflection in one of his incisors. First place. When are you guys going to judge best left? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> Harold by a mile. Now there's a sense of humor. Agreed. Hey, anybody care for a bride? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human. Ha ha ha! Thank <laughs> you.